As we start getting back together, the hospitality businesses are hoping they will be back in full force too. Cities like Stillwater depend on summer tourism to keep the economy flowing there. As Caroline Cummings found out today, even a canceled festival isn't keeping that river city down. Organizers for the annual Lumberjack Days Festival canceled the event this year, saying they couldn't secure the funds or plan enough in advance with ever changing COVID restrictions. But that didn't stop locals and tourists from coming to the charming river town on Friday. Dozens of people enjoyed the afternoon on the water and visited local businesses along Main Street, restaurants at full capacity and no masks in sight. Sarah Jesperson, who's a local business owner and sits on the tourism board, says Stillwater is bouncing back stronger than ever after weathering shutdowns and restrictions for more than a year. She says that resiliency is because of the loyalty of the community who stepped up and supported each other through trying times. You would think that we'd all be trying to compete for the same people and there's so few people at that time, but instead there were moments that they're like, here, you use my table if you can open. And there was this huge sense of we were all in it together. And everyone was kind of like a rising tide and it's going to float all of our boats and no one was cutthroat. I would say it brought out the best in our like local humanity. Now that life is beginning to look more like normal, one thing we've heard over and over again from businesses is that they're hiring and it's a lot harder to find people to fill those jobs than it used to be. In Stillwater, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News.